dramatic entrance. Hello there, we're going to make a little guide here. This is going to be really quick. Episode 32, the hunt for rare Pokemon. We're looking for rare Pokemon that is only attainable through the first game. I mean, through the post game. We're looking for five Pokemon in the Lyra Forest, being Victory Bell, Venusaur, Shed Ninja, Typhlosion, and Swampert. You will need two Pokemon with the level two cut field move, which I don't have. So we're going to be trying to find that. So we're going to go through the Weeping Bell Forest, right? Well, the Weeping Bell section specifically. We're going to just blitz through it so we can get the general idea where to go towards the next area, which ha should have a little ledge. Over here is where you'll find your first Pokemon, Victory Bell. All right, after capturing Victory Bell, continue going north past the beach drill section and enter this flowery section. We'll need to come back here, but first we need to capture a Pokemon with a level one cut field move. We'll need to go south in the um, labyrinth section and where we will find two Ninkatas. Capture both of them and then return back to the flowery section where we can use Ninkata to cut the bush where we can enter it and find a Venusaur. So back to the um, labyrinth section, we go south, north and south. Capture this Swallow because Swallow will be relevant for a future Pokemon coming up soon. Um, continue going through it and you should find a Shed Ninja, which will be the third Pokemon in this area. All right, back to the Shrine Air section. We're going to go into the Vic Vic Weeping Bell section again. We need to go to the Southern area, Southern Western area, sorry, Southern Eastern area of the section. Just past this Weeping Bell and you'll find a little bush over here. Usually an Incarta to cut the bush down and enter the um, little hole thing where you'll find your next Pokemon Typhlosion. This was not added on um, Cerebi's list, but I want to include it anyway, because I feel like it's meant to be there. Swamp it. We'll need to keep Swamp it, Typhlosion, and Venusaur, I think. Do we need to keep Venus? No, 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 we don't need it. Um, so once, we just mean, we need to take our Sweller to Ivysaur. Oh, I forgot, capture Ivysaur, because they're going to be relevant. Um, and Swamp it. I think I mentioned Typhlosion. So we're going to enter the Krokura tunnel. Just keep going into this crawl until you reach the screen section where you'll find this fine. Go up it and you'll find your first Pokemon, Torkoal. Oh, you also need the level two, um, level two Gust uh, Cross ability and the level three Crush ability, which we can find some of these in this cave. Um, keep going through the maze, go left here and then go up and you'll find these Zuba area. We hate this section. Don't get hit by the Supersonic. It's going to be annoying. This is where you swallow to wake up Parasect and you can capture it for your next Pokemon. Well, next, we need a Pokemon with the level three Crush Field move. We, it's pretty simple. Just go up here into this little cave. You'll find a Machamp or a Hariyama. Either one will do. This is where you go to this section is where you'll need the Cross ability. Cross it to go to the next section. You will need to go south where you'll find a giant boulder where is where you need to use the level three crush field move. Keep going south and you will find your next Pokemon, Dugdrio. All right, back through the town. Um, we got to go into the Paluna P P P Luna cave. I hope I said that right. Um, go to the section where you captured Torkoal and go up the vine and you will find yourself in the Paluna cave. Watch out from these uh, Crobats, they're pretty annoying. So just go south there and you'll find your next Pokemon, Absol. All right, so after capturing Absol, just go right, jump down this ledge, enter this door, and you'll find your final Pokemon in this area, um, Exploud. All right, so next we're gonna fly to Fall City. We're going to enter the waterworks and we're going to be capturing a Feraligator and a Squirtle. You will need the cross field move and a level two burn field move. This is where Typhlosion and a second Ivysaur will be handy. Well, technically don't need Ivysaur because you can also use a Tangler, which is further up, but Ivysaur is just much more convenient. So um, you'll need to go to practically the ending section of this, um, of the waterworks. There's no easy way to get there. You just have to take the long way and just go through it. And eventually you will find a um, a little, you know, water area with a thing where you can cross. Use your Ivysaur or Tangela to cross and you'll find this scrap of junk, burn it. And then just go up this, go down there and you'll find this little section there. For alligator will jump out and that will, that's where you capture for alligator. As for Squirtle, I'm not sure if this is a post game thing, but I want to include it anyway. 
because you can capture I um, Tangela in this section. So just keep going right here. Your Squirtle will pop out. I don't know if that's a post-credit thing, but I just want to put it in there just in case. All right, so now exit the full um, waterworks and we would like to enter the Dusk City, um, Dusk Factory, sorry. You'll need the level one cut field move, which is no problem at all. Um, you'll need to capture Kecleon with this. If you need to pass this little wooden fence, just go down here and you'll find yourself a Meowth. Pretty simple enough. Um, use Meowth to cut the, um, the wooden fence for you to progress. Kecleon is invisible. It's very faint, but you can see it. I didn't see it in my actual gameplay, but post gameplay, I was like, oh wait, there it is. A little right there. So next to Pichu right there, that's Kecleon. Um, so now go back to Fall City and actually go through the proper entrance to the Dusk Factory, enter the first door, and then go to the Western door, sorry, Eastern door, where you'll find invisible um, Porygon. And now exit that section, go to the Western door, and go slightly up and you'll find yourself a Haunter. And that's that section done. Fly to Summerland. Um, this section probably should have been last, but whatever. Um, you'll need the level one Gust, level two Gust, and level three Soak Field move. We've got um, Swamp up there, so yeah. I have to go to Windtown to like capture some Talos and a Swallow just to help myself. Um, so we, yeah, use level one Gust and you'll wake up that Oddish, pretty simple to find. For Meganium, you need to go to the bug section right here and well, Meganium's just sitting there. Pretty simple enough. So return back into the main section of the Olive Jungle and just go all the way to essentially the entrance of the Relic Jungle. And there you should find like a flower. Again, you will need the level two Gust Field move, which I have my, um, what's it called? Swallow to use. Maybe I actually went to Lyra Forest to capture them. Whatever, doesn't matter. You'll need to get your, the, a Pokemon with the Gust Field move. And after, once you awaken, um, Gloom, um, capture it, and then enter the Relic Jungle. I mean, the, re yeah, the re Relic Jungle? Jungle Relic, sorry. <laughs> jungle Relic, that doesn't sound right at all. Alright, so just progress to the section where you battled Entei. You know, the first time you battled Entei, and there you should find a Meganian. I mean, not Meganian. <laughs> there you should find an Arcanine. And yeah, capture it and add it to your Ranger decks. Alright, exit that section, and go to the section where you pretty close to where you've battled Groudon. You'll find two Charmanders. You can capture them during the Groudon mission. I didn't, so I had to capture them here. Use your Pokemon with the level two soak, or was it level three? I don't remember. Level three soak field move, just to be safe. I have Swamp it. And um, go to this section over here, you'll find Charmeleon. Very nice. I'm not sure if you can capture that with Groudon as well, but whatever. Um, next section. Wind Town, the Sekiro Ranch and the Go Rock Base. You'll need the level 3 Crush Field move for this section specifically, the level 3 Gust Field move, and le two level 2 Cross Field moves. Um, use it, use your Crush Field move, and you'll get yourself a Kangaskhan. So, in this main intercept here, go left, and just keep progressing. Where eventually, this is where a good section where you would um, you use the level 2 Gust Field move for the Summerland section, but whatever. Just keep progressing forward and. Um, Find yourself Altaria, because I believe this is the only section where you can find a Pokemon with the level 3 Gust Field move, unless Cerub is full of crap. It's possible, the, the site is a bit... I mean, this sec the game section about Pokemon range is a bit wishy-washy. Anyway, go to around this boulder section here, you'll find yourself a Vile Plume. Use Swamp... Oh, Swamp it, jeez. Use Altaria's level 3 Gust Field move and awaken... um That... Oh god, it's right there. What is the name? Vileplume, thank you. Vileplume. Alright, so again, just progress forward to the Go Rock Squad. Capture yourself two Tanglers, or else it's going to be a bit, a bit of an issue. Just keep progressing forward, and you'll find yourself back into the um, Go, Rock, um, Go Rock base. You, you might... The last time you came here, it wasn't blown up, so... Just, yeah. As for this section, just keep progressing forward. No issues here. And eventually, you should run into Metagross. There will be two bell dumps. I'm not sure if you can avoid the bell dumps, but two bell dumps are there. And that's it. Thank you for watching. I caught myself a Tyrannosaur just to look, make my team look pretty cool. Man, look at that. Look at that. Sick team. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you another time. So till then, see ya.